But this is sort of it's 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 almost rebelling against that all yeah. over again, you yeah. know. And so. It also kind of correlates with what's in fashion and on trend and on the catwalks at that particular time as well. So mm. if Topshop mm-hmm. have got I don't know a 60s shift dress in, yeah. you're more likely to go and sell a 60s shift, shift dress because oh. it's different to what's in Topshop, right. but it's still in on trend. And people mm. want a kind of it to be a proper 60s yeah. dress as opposed to a Topshop's yeah, version. Yeah, exactly. Of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Whereas you're not going to walk down the high street and see like twenty thousand people wearing the same thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's the great thing about vintage. Absolutely. So, so people sort of do draw on what is currently. Yeah, I think in, so. Um, in yeah, the yeah. You do, Some people, yeah. yeah. You do get people who just don't almost don't want to sort of fully commit themselves to the whole <laughs> <laughs> the vintage thing, you know. Which you know, which is 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 fine, you know. I mean, they're they're being they're being creative and they're they're mixing it up. So, you know, you can't knock them for it. So, so they sort of mix vintage and modern high street, yeah. high street together. Yeah, yeah. well, it's vintage inspired by the high street, you know, right. which which isn't something we should be conservative about, no. I don't think. You know, it should be, you know, it, it's good for the, the vintage industry, if yeah. you can call it that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to um, come back and talk to you in just a moment, but we're going to listen to um, Some Monday Always by Harry Roy and his band. Harry, are you sure that was Harry Roy and his band? Because it didn't sound like a Harry to me. It was definitely a Harry. It was a Harriet. Harriet. Okay, <laughs> Harriet and her band. <laughs> well, I'm just making up. Okay, we'll gloss over that one then. Um, with your online clothing store, is there an opportunity for people to come and look at stock? Because you, you haven't got a shop yet. No. no I guess no. that's sort of future plans. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's one of those where, you know, if we have if we have the option, it will be great. But at the moment, you know, the it, it, it seems that the online thing is the is the way to go. Just I, silly not to, really. Yeah. It, it can seems, access so many more people than just yeah. in a shop. It seems like a reality of the um of the way the market is today. And that's that's with anything, you know, yeah. not just vintage. But no, uh, people uh, via the by the Facebook and the Twitter and what have you can book appointments to come round and have a look as if it was an actual shop you I mean, know. everything's always out on rails and you know yeah, it's always yeah. organised people are free to come round just have a rummage so is your house kind of like <laughs> half of a, a shop <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. do you forget what's your selling and what's yours <laughs> we do try and say swap things yeah. in and out every now and again I do worry yeah. like a you know, if I ever just like, if we're sorting things out and I just take a jacket off because I'm too hot, <laughs> if if I leave it there, somebody will try yeah. it on. <laughs> you know, it's a nightmare. End up in the stock room. Yeah. Because you have got a very beautiful jacket on this evening. Is it a Thanks. tweed style jacket? Yeah. And how, it is. how you describe it? Three yeah. quarter? Yeah, absolutely. Sort it's of almost a drape. Almost style a drape, isn't it? Suit. Yeah. It's about that length, you know, because you know me, I love the, the Teddy Boy thing. And yeah. um, this, you know, it, like, again, it has that look, but it's still different. 
as yeah. well, you know. So, but mm-hmm. yeah, I love this. It's my favourite coat. Oh, Is it quite difficult when you're sourcing stuff, and we'll talk about how you source stuff in a minute, to just actually go and then put it for sale without just accumulating Definitely, yeah. masses yourself? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but then, I don't know, we always struggle to find things that fit us perfectly, so I think that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then we just sort of get rid of stock, but then if things do fit and... Yeah, we do keep it. It's so <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then we all have this pact where we just take something out of our own wardrobe and put that for sale instead. So we just yeah. swap trade. some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give something back. <laughs> so when you uh, people then um, go online to your Facebook page, yeah, mm. which is www.facebook.com forward slash Throwback Vintage. Real, and then they can <laughs> see what you've got. Yeah, we post photos pretty regularly, but if someone's after anything in particular, I mean, you know, more Mm. more than welcome to contact us. We've got far too much to put everything on there. So the real way to see absolutely everything is to book an appointment. We also (laughs) do a thing where if people um, send us their measurements, and then we can always send you what we've got in that size. Yeah. So then something's definitely going to fit you perfectly. Mm. Then there you go. (laughs) <laughs> so is it I guess that's the way to work it isn't it because I guess it's really difficult as a, a shop if you're an online shop to take photos of absolutely everything it must be so time mm. consuming to take yeah. photos and then if you sell it it's it's yeah well, yeah absolutely I mean, it's, there's, well to be honest like, things like iPhones and iPads and things like that are great because you can just have a conveyor belt almost and it's just click live yeah. click live but, um, yeah, you know, it's like when things don't sell, you know, it's not as if we have to take the photo again. We just, you know, have it stored and just uh, uh, bring it out again. But, <laughs> yeah, that, that the social media thing is such a godsend yeah. for this sort of stuff. You know, the way it works is all just so easy and simple. It's easy for, to, for people to buy as well as for us yeah, to Yeah, and it's all very yeah. instant. You can target it? the specific audience as well that you need. Absolutely. Mm, that's Absolutely. great. Yeah. But we were saying just off air now, weren't we? Because I was sort of saying, do you have a specific age range that, that you sell a lot of this to? And you were saying that you don't really. We really it's don't, no. I mean, you know, it can be a toddler yeah. that their parents are buying the clothes for them or a 90-year-old woman, you know, buying a piece of knitwear. Mm. So do you have sort of a, an item that's quite popular at the moment? Knitwear is quite big because obviously the change in weather. Um, dresses are always going to be big. Mm. And Hawaiian shirts. Really? Yeah, funny enough. <laughs> We never hang on to uh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirts for that long, no, do we? Yeah. <laughs> Except the ones in your wardrobe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Usually ones I've tried on to try and sell. Yeah. <laughs> so you have uh, men's, women's, children's clothing mm-hmm. yeah. and, and as much sort of variety in, in age as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even stuff, you know, there's more than just clothes, you know. I mean, we've got plenty of old suitcases and sewing machines and things like that. So, uh, yeah, keep it, keep it broad as possible. So, do you have toys? Um, we haven't sold any toys, have we? No, but not, we, not what would be no. popularly considered toys. Children's toys. So no, like we only, if we come across things like that, you know, um, yeah, we snap it sure. up. But yeah, I don't think so at the moment. Yeah, uh, well, we've, we'll ask you in just a moment where you snap all this stuff up from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, this is one of Harry's favourite tunes coming next. Uh, this is Fred Douglas with Jay Shudden and his band, and I lift up my finger and I say, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Shush, shush, now, now, come, come. 
when the baby screams and scatters my dreams, do I stop to sing or hum? No, I lift up my finger and I say, sweet, sweet, shush, shush, now, now, come, come. I do like the intellectual songs. It's it that was right up at your alley. <laughs> well, and 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 and, and Faze and Billy. Well, it would have been Faze if she could have seen this. Could have seen them perform that. We were just talking about <laughs> the, uh, the stage show of um, Jeeves and Worcester, Worcester mm. from which we know that track from, um, and it was in London as a play. It's, um, it's gone now, hasn't it? Which is yeah, it's not on anymore. No. I think it's touring, but it's not touring around near us because I looked. Oh, but Faye was saying that you didn't see most of it from no. your seat because no, it was a bad view. I'm too short. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> unusually shaped theatre, wasn't it? You know. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. Well, uh, to be honest, uh, if you ever do go to London theatre, that is often the problem because they are so old. The really Absolutely. old Victorian yeah. theatres, aren't they? Mm. You know, and they you didn't, and the views actually can be pretty diabolical. Beautiful, unless you, beautiful buildings. venues, yeah. but you can't see a thing. No, no exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. We also mentioned earlier that Billy has been on a previous show about his band, the Broadway Twisters. And if you want to listen to this or any of the other Harry and Edna tracks or listen to Faye talking to us about the wonderfulness of seeing one-fifth of G's and Worcester, <laughs> go, go to harryandedna.co.uk, click on the tab that says wireless and you'll find out when we're broadcasting live and the entire back catalogue is there with about three years' worth of continuous shows for you to enjoy. And here over and over again. And if you want to get hold of us, Twitter's the best way. It's at Harry and Edna or hashtag Harry and Edna. We answer to both. And keeping the intellectual tone, we've got a bit of Joe Loss and my heart goes boom. Of the wonder, 
Like Mandalay, now the dawn of the day, it comes up with a boom like thunder. Boom, one little look and boom. Me and